I've never drawn so much blood in my life. As a character designer, when we first get the script, we each get assigned a few different characters to kind of get some ideas out. And you know, you always start with your front three quarter. When the designers are designing the designs, <laughs> And then I look over them and I look at the notes and see if there's any notes. If they're good to go, then they go to the art director. Once that guy gets approved, then you build it out into this whole entire turn and then hopefully everything lines up. Citizens of Dragon, a slut dragon has escaped. The character that's gone through the most revisions, it had to have been Wasp Rick. What the f man? What? What the f There was just a lot of versions of dragons. <laughs> I got one that was just like dragon covered in shit and I was just like, oh, so you want like a dragon covered in feces? And so I started doing that and someone came around like, what are you doing? And they're like, no, we just met like, like ornaments and like weird stuff all on him. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can't tell with this show. There's lots of drawing guts and, and dismembered body parts as well. You can't really have a favorite character on this show because chances are they're gonna die. I've actually taught myself not to like get so attached to characters. Seems like everybody's dying at some point, including Rick and Morty. Jesus Christ, I, I die a million times? The Death Crystals, we had to draw at least 140 deaths. Blood. Bones spewing broken legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, there are no bounds to death, I've found. There's a lot of violence that we can uh, get away with. There's, there's no other show quite like it. <laughs> I find some humor in violence, I have to admit. <laughs> no, but, but when you've painted blood, like, Day after day for like a week, it's pretty like there's a sickness inside of you. It starts building. It's it's terrible. 